This is one of the hardest parts in any video game I've ever played. You have one shot at this flying segment where you have to shoot a revolver abreast a hang glider at giant dive bombing pigeons and UFOs. If you get hit once, you're dead. Game over. And you know what that means? Divorce your wife, sing the karaoke, question if it's ethical to eat Mormons, do the whole thing over again just to have another go at this hang gliding segment. It could take you 20, 30 times before you get this. And it wouldn't even be so bad if you could fully control the hang glider. But once you drop altitude, the only way you can go back up is to hit one of these gusts of wind, which you can accidentally shoot and destroy. Never, never in my life have I said, God damn it, I shot the wind again and meant it. And meant that. Can you even fathom how hard this is? Was a human actually intended to be able to overcome this? After a while, it breaks you down. It just, the only thing that keeps you going is the thought of what's coming next, the, the, the thought of winning. You can't let him beat you. It was designed to beat you. And you want to know how hard this game is? I started this review in 2012. Come on, I have to do this. I, I, I can't stop until I do this. Please, please. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I made it. I did it. I got there. I got to the island. I'm finally here. I'm in the treasure cave. This is the final stretch. Of course, they wouldn't give you a break either. There's literally enemies oozing from every crack of this cave. Talk about having some PTSD. You're looking at this while having flashbacks, having to do the goddamn fucking pigeon section again. It's a non-stop barrage of scorpions, uh, amoebas, pirates, skeletons, and flame balls. I swear to God, I don't even think you could beat this segment if there wasn't a built-in exploit to the game, which is if you pause the game and unpause it, all the enemies reset. And then, finally, you see it just out of the corner of your eye. Not everyone is created equal. Not in a racist way, I'm talking more about willpower. Sorry if you thought that was a racist or sexist comment. Some are quicker to make an excuse than a commitment. But we live in a world where if you don't decide to be the very best, someone will step up and be happy to take your place. Today we've scaled a new peak, and you know what? View's pretty good from up here. Takeshi, I beat your challenge. To the victor go the spoils. What do I win? That's it. That, that, that's that's all it is.